So this video is a little outdated now because right after the Halloween costume picture came out, uh, a whole bunch of other news came out. We got models of what the turtles look like. We got posters. And on the side, you can see some merchandise even. But there was some, still some good points made in this video. So we're still going to put it up. And we're going to cover all the new stuff in the next video. Let's get to it. Okay, so my thing with this new Turtles movie is that they still look like they're going to experiment with the Turtles, okay? At first, they were going to do the alien thing, okay? Then people went nuts, and it was, it was crazy, you know? It was just to see the passion for, like, Ninja Turtles, you know what I mean? It, like, the whole world went insane. So, you know, supposedly they changed it. But now, if you look at... And if you don't know, this is a leaked picture of... The Turtles Halloween costume that's going to be based on and from the new Michael Bay Ninja Turtles movie that's supposedly coming out this year. And we don't even have a trailer yet or anything. But, yeah, so this is supposedly what they're going to look like. And right now we only got Michelangelo. But if you look at the face, if you look at the face, it seems like that they're still going to be experimenting and that... I get the vibe that the turtles are going to be human beings turned into turtles instead of like turtles that are like life-size turtles. <laughs> and my thing with all this like, you know, experimenting stuff, why are we experimenting now? First of all, you got the cartoon that's doing great, that's based off the original turtles um, story with a little twist to it, but still has all the original stuff in place. That show is doing really good. So... Why are we going to make a movie that changes the story around? I believe at one point when the alien thing, the alien turtles, alien turtles controversy was going on, they tried to say like, um, uh, you know, all the turtle stuff that you know is going to be in there, they're just going to be aliens, which changes like everything. You know what I mean? Like if they're aliens, they're not from New York. If they're aliens, they're not, they're just from a totally different place. You know what I mean? But whatever. But, um. But like I was saying, now that we have the technology to do whatever you want in the movies, you could, ex you could reboot the Turtles and explore all the Turtle stories in the comic books. There's millions of Turtle stories that they can do, just like with the X-Men movies. A lot of the movies are based off a lot of the comics from X-Men. There's so many Turtle stories they can do now with li uh, limitless technology. You know, when the, when the original Three Turtles movies came out, um, as far as live action, you know, you couldn't really... It's, it's limited. It goes for all movies. Uh, limited in, you know, what you can really do. I mean, not really, because some movies before, you know, CG technology were incredible, just with, with, you know, built sets and the way they made the puppets. But still, to do certain things, it would be very hard to do or pull off without... CG technology. You can do a lot without it, but with it, you're limitless. You know what I mean? So if you want to reboot the Turtles and go off on make you know a million Turtles movies that um you know explore all these Turtle stories like Dimension X, you can go into now and all the all, all this crazy stuff you can do. And plus the cartoons doing really good, which I said is ba you know based off the original stuff. So re reboot the movies. And make a million Turtles movies based off of stuff you couldn't do before. That is, that's still, you know, you could bring to the big screen from the comic book. And then down the line. Down the line. Because why, why wouldn't you want to extend this as much as you can? Turtles is obviously something that's going to be around forever. You know, it's been around since, you know, the 80s. And every time it comes back, it does really well. I don't think the Turtles ever really went away completely, but every time they refresh it for the, the next generation, you know, like every 10 years, it does really well. So, you know, why not make a million Turtles movies, reboot it, and make, a, make Turtles movies, you know, with all this story, all this fresh story from the comics that you could bring to the big screen. And then down the line when, like, you know, 10 years from now, like, experiment with the Turtles. You know what I mean? Like, and then you could... You know, make like a spin-off story with the aliens or whatever you want to do. Because then by that point, people will say, we got what we wanted. You know, we could, all right, fine. Now we'll allow you to do a little bit of uh, experimenting and stuff. And another damn shame is that, like, the, the main vibe around the cartoon that's on Nickelodeon right now, everybody loves it. Everyone's saying this is, like, one of the best renditions of Turtles ever. And um, 
the people that created it said that they set out to, you know, take the best elements from all the renditions of the Turtles from the past and take all the best parts of everything we've seen with Turtles before from all the series, all the movies, and put them into this cartoon. You know, and they did a really good job, and a lot of people are really, and, you know, I have nothing bad to say about it. Like, you know, I'm sure there's some people out there don't agree with some things, but, like, the majority and the general vibe around the show that's on right now is that it's awesome. So this is one of the strongest comebacks of the Turtles ever. And everything else around it is bullshit. The games that have come out have sucked. <laughs> you know, um, the the one that came out for uh, Xbox 360, Wii, and 3DS, um, like, it's it's cute, but it's really just a 3DS game that they ported over 360 and Wii, okay? And then you have the uh, download game, uh, Turtles Out of the Shadows, which I think is actually a cool game, but you can tell that it just, like wasn't finished like they they just didn't have time to like polish it up make it a little more smooth it's just you know it's very um i i guess on on the glitchy side but just very um like i said unpolished and uh you could just tell they made something pretty cool but just didn't have the time to go in and smooth everything out and you got to ask yourself why did they not have time to finish it well, the game was part of the Xbox uh, Live Summer Arcade uh, bundle and deal that they do every year. So every year, there's about four or five games that come out um, for Xbox Live during the summer, and they do the Summer Arcade promotion. And it's something like if you buy all four or five games, either you get one of them free or you get a discount or something like that. So all signs kind of lead to the fact that they probably didn't see another game that was uh, worthy to be part of the bundle or maybe another game that would uh, create as much buzz as Out of the Shadows would. So they probably put pressure on the people that made the game to, you know, do whatever they can to get it out so it could be part of that summer arcade promotion. I mean, really, nothing else really makes sense because, you know, the game didn't get good reviews. You know, I'm telling you, the game is... uh. You could just tell it's not finished, it's not polished, and also for the fact that the PS3 version never even came out, it got delayed and delayed, and now it's on like indefinite delay. I would say they probably want to delay it till the uh, movie comes out to launch it alongside that. So yeah, I mean, it looks like the game, you know, they wanted to delay it to make it, you know, better, and probably the only reason why they made the release date of last summer was because Microsoft was pressuring them to. Uh, and, and in the end, they probably didn't really want to. They probably wanted to delay the game so they could make it better. Um, but Microsoft probably pressured them to get it out for that bundle. And they probably said, all right, fine. You're paying us, like, all this money to do it or whatever the case may be. We'll just, whatever, fine. You, you're, you're being annoying. Like, well, you're giving us all this money. We'll just release it. We don't want to, but we will. And we'll just we'll just give it to you guys for that reason. But, you know, everything else for PC and PS3... We're going to delay this thing like we wanted to and really finish it. So the end result is a game that, you know, is kind of cool in one-player mode. But, you know, you got a lot of Turtles fans out there that come from, you know, the background of playing the arcade game and all that stuff. And for that, it sucks. You know, the co-op mode for the story just sucks. <laughs> and um, the camera's horrible. And uh, then you got... You know, they have some sort of, like, arcade version that they tried to do that um just, just doesn't, it's just, like I said, just doesn't work right. It's not polished. So, yeah, like, you want to get into it because it's Turtles, but at the same time, it's just really just hard to have fun when you're playing it because it's just kind of hard to control and just, it makes it hard to have fun. And the PS3 version hasn't even come out. It was supposed to come out at the same time as 361 did. But the PS3 version's in limbo. And I believe they have like an official statement or something that says, you know, we're still working on it and we're going to make sure it's the best it can be when it comes out and blah, blah, blah. But there you go. You got, you got more shady bullshit going on. Like what happened to the PS3 version? It's just, it's just like they, they it's supposed to come out at the same time. Then they pushed it back. And I think they pushed it back again. And then they were just like, all right, like 
yeah, um, we'll let you know when we're done. Uh, you know, like, it's just, like, it's just shady shit everywhere you look. Surround the fucking turtles. Like, they don't deserve it. Where's the fucking police? <laughs> I mean, I guess it's really a blessing in disguise, maybe? Actually, when you think about it, the PS3 version got delayed because maybe um, it, what's going to happen is, you know, maybe they're going to, if they're delaying it this long, maybe they're, you know, really going back into the game and changing so many things that they might have to wind up uh, maybe rebranding it and bringing it out as almost a new title, a new SKU. Um, you know, for example, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3... Uh, versus Marvel versus Capcom 3. You know, they did so much internal work on Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom, they decided to just make it a new SKU, a new game, rather than just making an update, because they did so much work on it that making making it an update really wouldn't um, work. There would just be, like, too much work done to try to pass it off as an update. So maybe at this point they figure, you know what? We delayed it a million times. Let's just hold off now. We'll set the release date. They're probably gonna. They're probably thinking of releasing it alongside the movie, and they'll probably just make it a new skew like um, uh, TMNT, uh, Out of the Shadows, you know, XL Deluxe Edition or Ultimate Edition or some shit like that. What they're also probably gonna do is they're probably gonna add in the uh, skins from um, whatever they're wearing in the movie. Uh, so you could probably you know wear those movie costumes in the game, too. I would not be surprised if that's one of the things that they do. So you got all this controversy with the movie, all this shadiness with the movie, all these things that don't make sense with the movie, not seeing trailers, weird release dates. You got these games that are just subpar, you know, so all surrounding this awesome comeback and this awesome cartoon of the Turtles. Like, you're going to get a million people to see this fucking movie. Like, <laughs> millions, excuse me. There's no need to play this game of, like, trying to make the movie, like, relate to, like, a mass amount of people by, like, you know, making it Turtles, but making it, like, not Turtles to appeal to these certain people. You don't need to do that. Now, the whole world loves the turtles obviously you got the cartoon and it's doing really good so that means a million kids love it the toys are doing really good that's all fine so the kids are you know the given that they're gonna go see the movie okay now again judging by the uproar when the alien turtle news first came out you had people all different age groups going crazy over that, okay? So, I mean, you got people in their mid-20s, love the Turtles. You got people, you know, probably in their 30s and 40s, too, who grew up with the Turtles. They're going to want to see it. I mean, what are they worried about? Why are they trying trying so hard? You know what I mean? I just don't understand. So they definitely don't have to worry about who's going to see this movie. Plenty of age groups are so passionate about the Turtles if it wasn't obvious by the alien turtle uproar, I mean, just look around. Like, kids loving it, people in their 20s and 30s and probably 40s still watching it, still know about it, still love it. Come on. But no, what they're going to do is take this opportunity where they can really give people what they want and, you know, what they've been waiting for maybe since the 80s, you know? Why not take that opportunity? But no, what they're going to, what they want to do is experiment and do something completely different at a time when you can make you know dreams come true you're gonna nah we're gonna just do something fucking different stupid experiment i mean what a time to just not do that <laughs> but i mean yeah that that's my take on it like wh why are we doing this experimenting stuff now when you can do anything you want in movies and now you could have the opportunity to reboot the Turtles movies. The cartoon's doing really well, so the kids can see the movie and, and, and relate to the story from the cartoon. 
and just go off and make like a hundred Turtles movies, you know, based off of comic book stories that have yet to be explored on the big screen. And there's a lot of them. And like I said, look at the X-Men movies. How long have the X-Men movies been going on for? And I forget if the original ones are based on a comic book story, but the ones they've been doing recently are based on a lot of the comic book stories. Wolverine was based off a comic story. um, And now this X-Men Days of Futures Past is going to be based off a, you know, a X-Men comic that came out. But no, someone decided to give Ninja Turtles to these people that just are completely out of touch. I mean, look, I'm all for art. I'm all for experimenting. I'm all for using the imagination. But it's just not the time. Like, It's like, I made this really good dinner. You're going to love it. But it's like, my man, it's breakfast time. Like, We don't want dinner right now. No matter how good fucking dinner is, it's breakfast. I don't want like all this shit right now or that type of food right now. I want breakfast right now. You know what I mean? Like, but so, all right. Anyway, let's look, let's look at this costume. Let's look at this leaked picture. A couple things that I didn't notice at first. And after I looked over it some more, I just kept looking at him like in, I don't know, shock, I don't know, shock or whatever the hell, but okay. So a couple things to notice. Um, uh, Michelangelo has a tattoo. (laughs) Michelangelo is wearing sneakers Michelangelo has a hoodie tied around in his waist. Um, he's got uh, pants on with one leg ripped off. Like looks like one side is shorts and one side's pants. Like it looks like one of the legs of the got ripped off of the pants. That's kind of like a uh, I think it was Zack Ryder when he first came to WWE. He had like that one side was uh, pants and one side was like shorts or something. Another thing to notice the uh, cross strap around his chest which would usually be like, um, that would be something, that would be Leonardo's weapon belt for the two swords. Um, Now Michelangelo's wearing it. So that's a little thing that's off for uh, Big Turtle fans. He's got some sunglasses hanging there or whatever. And then uh, around his neck, he's got some sort of necklace that a lot of people are saying that um, look like shells of something. Now me, though, I'm looking at the face. And... I don't know. This does, yeah. Maybe I'm crazy about this part, but if you look at the face and you look at the orange, which is supposed to be Michelangelo's orange, um, orange, you know, tied up mask around his eyes and face, that doesn't look like material, quote unquote, to me. And what I mean by that is that it's too contoured, like to the face itself. It looks like it's part of the face, like. No material tied around your head is that well fitted. Now, yeah, it's a Halloween costume, whatever. But at the same time, like what I'm what I'm saying here is, I hope that they're not wearing fucking face paint. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I hope that's not like paint around their face instead of a strap. All right, it could just be like a raggedy piece of cloth that's really loose and can maybe you know fit to the face because. But so, yeah, this is the leaked Halloween costume picture of Michelangelo from the new Ninja Turtles movie. And like I said, right now, they only have Michelangelo leaked. That's the only picture. Uh, no other Ninja Turtles so far. But yes, this is what they're supposedly going to look like in the new Michael Bay Ninja Turtles movie. And again, like mostly all of the movies that are coming out this year have some sort of poster or teaser trailer at least a lot of them have trailers already but we ha- we aren't seeing anything on this movie this is the only official piece of the movie that we've seen so far and the movie schedule for this year A lot of shady business going on, and if you think about the original release date, which was supposed to be Christmas time of, uh, I forget, either 2012 or 13, but what movie comes out Christmas Day? You know what I mean? Like, like, Turtles is something that the whole world is going to want to see. A movie that comes out on Christmas Day, 
it's really it's just it's just not a day you put like a blockbuster franchise out on because a lot of people are home celebrating Christmas. Like you like you wouldn't put a blockbuster franchise's release date on Christmas Day. It just doesn't make sense. You definitely would not get the most people coming to the movies. So it just it's something something's been off about this movie ever since it's been made, and it's a real shame because, like I said, they have the technology now to explore any turtles story they want. You know, and they they could have rebooted it, and then just looked to the comics and just you know could have made endless amount of turtles movies, just like they've been doing with X Men, and just like they've been doing with a lot of you know. Look at the success of Watchmen. The whole movie was based off of the comic book. <laughs> you know, I mean, like, I, so, I, <laughs> oh, man. So, like I said, they could have rebooted it and um, just went off on exploring all these different turtle stories that they maybe couldn't have done before in the 90s. Now that they have CG technology and they could do whatever they want. But what are they choosing to do at a, at a time where they can make like dreams come true and really make turtles movies that we never thought we would see before based off of so much rich content that still has to be explored for the big screen no they're deciding to experiment and and, and do something different like it's time for that so from the start there's been just craziness and controversy over this movie. And I don't know who they gave this movie to, but they definitely underestimated the power of Ninja Turtles. And um, I just don't know what's going on. I don't know why you would set the original release date for Christmas Day. I don't know why we haven't seen trailers yet. It's just a real shame that we have to be worried right now. And, you know, the only thing we're getting at us is these, like, shady stories when, you know, it's something that we uh, really love and would love to enjoy. And uh, we should be, at this time right now, the year of the that the movie's coming out, we should be, like, ecstatic and, sh- and seeing some sort of, like, teaser posters or something. And we should be having so much fun right now. But all that's really going on is shady stories and and controversy. Turtles ain't no small thing. Turtles is some blockbuster shit. And uh, I don't know. We could just uh, right now just uh, hope that um, the best that could possibly come out of this can come out of it. I'll see you later.